Hi, this is Mr. West, and today we're doing a Khan Academy tutorial on proof parallelogram properties. This was a video requested by Zabawi. I think I said your name correctly. He comments a lot, and I appreciate his comments, so this video is for you. Uh, this is a kind of tough Khan Academy if you don't know what you're doing, but there's seven questions. We're going to go through each one, and hopefully this will help you. So it says, uh, consider this diagram of quadrilateral ABCD, which is not drawn to scale. Which two statements must be true based on the information indicated by the diagram. So looking at this, I can see without looking at the options for multiple choice, I can see that these two segments, that's B, C, and A, D are congruent, they're equal. Then I can see that A, B, and D, C are congruent. So I'm gonna see if that is a choice, that A, B, I know that's terrible writing, let me uh, change my writing here. So we said B, C congruent to A, D, also AB congruent to DC. So we see AC congruent, it says choose two answers. We already got one. And then we have the other one right here. So we see that it's congruent based on those two things. And uh, we actually know that the triangles are also, let me just double check this, AC congruent to BD. Ah, it says AC, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. So I need to choose that one off. And then we don't know about the angles, but we do know that triangle ABC, ABC is gonna be congruent to CDA. Okay, so check this out. A um, Couple things going on here. So I, I wrote down the things and then I read the, my choices incorrectly. So that's what makes this one tricky. I was just talking about that. So AB and DC are congruent. We got that one set. That is this one and this one. Now we already mentioned that these two are also congruent. These uh, two triangles share that side. AC is shared by, let me show you these triangles just to make it a little bit more obvious. There's that yellow triangle and then I'll make a purple triangle. Right here. These two triangles, yellow and purple, both share that red side. And you'll notice that they have a side shared, another side shared, and another side shared. And anytime that happens where you have three sides shared, those two triangles are congruent. And the two triangles are a, C, D, that's one of them, or A, D, C, going in reverse, A, D, C, and then A, B, C. So those are the two uh, triangles that are actually congruent. We're gonna pick that answer, check it, and we got it. All right, Bao wants to prove that if parallelogram A, B, C, D has a right angle, then its diagonals are congruent. Okay. Bao says, I can prove this using the fact that opposite sides in a parallelogram are congruent and by establishing the congruence of a single pair of triangles. Which pair of triangles is Bao referring to and which criterion should he use for establishing congruence? Okay, so he wants to know that the diagonals are also congruent if there's a right angle. So let's take a look at this. We know that these sides are parallel. Okay, that's a big indicator. If there's uh, sides that are parallel, we have what's uh, uh, called a transversal going on here. So that means alternate interior angles. There's a lot of congruent angles anytime you have uh, sides parallel. So if this has a right angle here, we're gonna consider this triangle right here. And then let's make this one in yellow and this triangle right here. Those are the two triangles we're looking at. Okay, so if we have um, those two triangles, uh, uh, kind of touching each other right there and those sides parallels let's take a look at what our choices are so this is ABC and CDA by angle side angle so um, he's trying to prove that the diagonals are congruent when there's a right angle so he wants to show that um, this diagonal whoops I need like a green color this diagonal and this diagonal are the same so we kind of need to know that there's uh, that not this yellow triangle actually, but we wanna prove that this yellow triangle and that purple triangle are the same, okay? And the reason why is because they, we want these opposite diagonals, this diagonal and this diagonal to be shown. Okay, I'm gonna erase it, I got a lot going on here. The two diagonals are these two, and we wanna show that they're congruent by proving these two triangles, because those are the two triangles that contain that diagonal, okay? You'll notice here that there's a 90 degree angle, whoops, 90 degree angle in the yellow one. So we're hoping that we can prove that there's a 98 degree angle in that green one. Okay, in order to do that, we have to find a couple things. 
I can prove this using the fact that opposite sides in a parallelogram are congruent. Okay, he said that. So that means we're talking opposite sides congruent. That's these two sides. So this side, congruent, congruent. That's the side, that's the side. Okay, also there's a shared side right here. So this is another side, shared side. So right now we have a side and a side. There's really, we can either get a third side or get another angle. You can see here, looking at our choices, we have, I'm gonna erase this again, sorry, there's a lot going on here. We have a couple choices here. We have uh, side, angle, angle. It's not gonna be this one because we already showed that opposite sides are congruent and there was a shared side. So we we're looking for something with two S's. So side, angle, side is one. This is angle, side, angle. We don't want that one. And then here's another side, angle, side. So now we just need to choose the right triangle. So ABC and CDA. What are the two triangles? We're looking for ADC and DCB. So we're looking for a triangle with a B in it. DCB, DCB, okay. And then we have CDA, CDA. Oh, so we see here um, ABC is not the triangle we're looking for. ABC is this triangle up here. That's not, we want DCB. So the one that we want here is this one, CDA and DCB, okay? And again, it's because those are the two triangles we want with the diagonals. I'm trying to erase this. Okay, here's the diagonal. Here's the diagonal we're looking for. Both those triangles contain that diagonal. Then we see that it's a side to side and they share that bottom side. So we know it has to have side, side, and there's no side, side, side option. And then we know that there's those angles. So I guess the assumption is we're gonna get that last angle to make it side, angle, side, side, angle, side, those two triangles, okay? Very complex, a lot going on. If you need like a little bit of help with this, make sure to check out some of my uh, triangle congruence videos. I have tons of those in my geometry section. Okay, Branson wants to prove that the diagonals in a rectangle are congruent. Select the appropriate rephrase statement for Branson's proof. Okay, so diagonals in a rectangle are congruent. That's kind of what we just did. In quadrilateral ABCD, we're, so this is what we're trying to do. Okay, there's a lot of these types of questions in this set. It's gonna tell you, wants to prove uh, diagonals in a rectangle are congruent. Okay, so we need to get all the conditions of a rectangle first. So in quadrilateral, this is the first option if AB is parallel to DC, okay, so AB parallel to DC, that's here and here, whoops, here and here, and AD is uh, parallel to BC, that's here and here, then measure of angle A equals measure of angle B, measure of angle C is measure of angle, uh, so that's wrong. We don't know if it's this condition right here, the if part, okay, so if you see here, if we see that if, Okay, that's like the condition. We don't know that this, this is describing a parallelogram, not a rectangle. So we need more to that if than that. We want it to describe a rectangle. So look at this one, measure of angle B. Oh, and also the then doesn't describe congruent diagonals. That's the proof. So look at this one, letter B says, if all those measures are 90 degrees, that's a rectangle. Then it's talking about things being parallel. Again, we don't want that because we're looking for congruent diagonals. So, Look at uh, G, it's telling then those angles are congruent. That's talking about uh, it being a rectangle. Again, we want congruent diagonals. So look at option D. It says all those angles are 90 degrees. That's the condition for a rectangle. Then it says that the uh, diagonals are congruent. If you go up here to AC and BD, AC and BD are the diagonals. So it is option D. We're just going based on what it's asking in the proof. The proof is if it's a rectangle, then diagonals are congruent. So we're just trying to match it up with the uh, different um, symbols. Complete the proof that diagonals of a parallelogram ABCD bisect each other. Okay, so it talks about givens. I kind of like scroll down. A lot of this isn't too important, but we do kind of need to know something. Um, so I'm looking here, it's gonna try to prove that uh, triangles are congruent. What I like to do here is I like to look at this. So I see this, is, it gives me the given statements. Then it gives me an angles that's congruent. Gives me another angles that congruent. I can see because it's saying angle one congruent to angle three, angle two congruent to angle four. Then it's telling me a side is congruent. So there's only, we got uh, angle, angle, side. Based on this, we got angle, angle, side or angle, side, angle. 
either one of those is going to be one of our conditions for the proof. So we're going to see which, um, well, we'll figure out the triangles later. So we have angle side angle and see how um, there's no other ones with two angles in a side. So it has to be this one. There's not side angle angle in there or angle angle side. So it's got to be angle side angle. Now we're going to pick out which triangles are proven congruent by angle side angle. So we need to look at angle one and two and then three and four. Okay, so we can see the two triangles that is showing congruent. And it's, you can see it pretty clearly in the picture. So it's showing here that this triangle and this triangle are congruent. And that's triangle DCE and ABE. And it might not be in that order, but we're going to look for that. Um, it has to have the E in there, right? Did I say E twice? ABE and DCE. Was there any other triangles with the E? No. So that's our uh, congruent statement right there. And now we need to know um, how we can go from step five to step seven. Okay, so step seven says point E bisects both AC and BD, definition of a bisector. Looking at step six, we see corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. So we, pr we proved congruence here, and now we can say any part of those triangles are congruent. So I'm guessing if we're talking about a bisector, it's going to want to say something like DE is congruent to BE or AE is congruent to uh, CE. We want to know that. Uh, whoops, I messed up my congruence. We want to know that because that will prove it's um, a bisector. So let's see here if any of those are statements. A, okay, so there, there's a lot of them. We just got to be real careful. So we said AE and CE. So let's look for that one. AE and CE. That one is only written one time. It's in the middle. AE equals CE. BE equals DE. That's the other one. We want those segments to be equal. That's the definition of bisector. And we got next question. Three more. I told you this is long. Consider the diagram of a quadrilateral ABCD, which is not drawn to scale. Which two statements must be true based on the information indicated by the diagram? Okay, so we got a couple things here. One, this time, is we have congruent sides right there. We know those sides are congruent. And then we have parallel sides. So um, which statements must be true based on the information indicated in the diagram? We know it's a parallelogram because it's got opposite sides parallel. Okay, done. We know that. Now we need to know if it's got anything else. So if it's got consecutive sides congruent, okay, so consecutive sides congruent, we know if it's a parallelogram, opposite sides are congruent. So if this side and this side are congruent, and it's, well, time out. If it's a parallelogram, we know this side and this side are going to be congruent. Okay, so those new sides, let me change the colors here. If we know it's a parallelogram, those two sides are congruent. And this is just me looking at the different parallel sides and this side and this side, okay? But since we know those sides are congruent and we know that these sides are also the same, these two first sides, we know that all the sides are congruent. So that means it's a rhombus. We don't know if it's a square because we don't know the measure of the angle, but we do know it's a rhombus because all the sides are equal, congruent, same thing. Let's move on. Craig wants to prove that if quadrilateral ABCD has diagonals that bisect each other, then it is a parallelogram. Okay, so if it has diagonals that bisect each other, then it is a parallelogram. I can prove that AB is parallel to CD by establishing the congruence of single pair of triangles. Okay, so kind of what we had before. Which pair of triangles is Craig trying to refer to? And which criteria, criterion should he use for establishing congruence? Okay, we had this problem earlier. The talk, talking about the bisecting angles, we know it's these two right here. And those are the, the triangles that contain those given sides, okay? You wouldn't want, like, I mean, I guess you could use these ones, but I don't think it's going to give you as an, uh, that as an option. But we're going to be looking at this right here and this one right here. So A, B, and D, E, C. Okay, so let me go ahead and look for A, B, E, C, D, E. Okay, oh, we should, probably should establish which ones. Uh, so we have uh, sides, okay, so we mark side, 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 side. So what else do we need? We either need another side, which we don't know, or an angle. So we have vertical angles here, so we know it's going to be side, angle, side. Let's look down here for side, angle, side. There's two of them, A, B, C, and C, D, A. A, B, C, okay, so this one's wrong. 
A, B, C is here. A, B, C is that one. That's no good. So A, B, C, and C, D, A is wrong. We're looking for side, uh, angle side. So that one's wrong. But we can pick this one, which is option D, which has side, angle, side. And that's going to be correct. So we're going to choose option D, and we have one more. Okay, final one. Vera wants to prove that any rectangle is also a parallelogram. Any rectangle, okay? Select the proof. So again, if it says any rectangle is also a parallelogram, we need to establish first that we have a rectangle. So that means all angles are equal. I see that written here. I see that written here for the if, okay? So if it's a rectangle. This one is not. This one's not. So now we're down to B and D. Then it says, then it's also a parallelogram, right? So look at option B. Option B is saying, then the sides are parallel, okay? Option D is saying that a different, probably the diagonals are congruent. We just want to know if it has a, a parallelogram, and we see that AB and DC are parallel, okay? AB and DC parallel, and then AD and BC parallel. That's the definition of parallel, parallelogram is opposite sides are parallel. So the if statement is what it's saying, Wants to prove any rectangle. So if it's a rectangle, we need the condition of rectangle, then it is a parallelogram. So we're looking for the condition of parallelogram, which means opposite sides are parallel. Which one was that again? I lost my the letter B. And we're done. Okay, so we got it. Um, hope this video was helpful. It's definitely a tougher concept. Let me know in the comments if you need more help on this. Check out some of my other videos if this was too fast. Thanks for commenting again. Appreciate it. Request your own video anytime. Uh, if you're watching this for the first time, and I look forward to seeing you next time right here on West Explains Best.